Hi guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here. This is Daniel Rose. So another video today about editing in uh, Caden Live Video Editor, a very popular video editing program for folks operating uh, Linux. And I want to talk today about how to edit sound in Caden Live and just show a couple more things that I didn't see on other YouTube videos about audio editing in Caden Live. First thing to say really is if you can avoid editing your audio in Caden Live, you'll probably get better results just exporting your audio and then popping it into something like a a DAW or Audacity. To do that, it's actually pretty easy. If you're just using a one clip recording, you can right click, go extract audio and uh, select WAV. And this will extract the WAV file uh, from that particular video. But if you do wanna do your audio editing directly in Caden Live, there's a number of things you can do uh, to make your audio sound a little bit better. So I'm just gonna play you guys a sample so you can hear what this uh, video blog here sounds like. A couple of beers. Whether that's a good idea before a 14 hour flight, I'm not sure. Uh, but I barely slept last night because I went this is just how the audio uh, and the video came off the camera where the video is already, I've done a bit of saturation work on it as you can see in the difference between the raw clip and what's in the uh, preview timeline. But uh, within audio, you can look through the effects menu and there's a lot of things here. So the first thing you can do is if you wanna just work on the levels, you can normalize um, to a certain LUFS or uh, you can just apply your raw gain. But I wanna talk about editing the actual audio. So usually the chain I use for my audio editing is equalizing, equalizing, compression, limiting, and um, that's usually it actually. So within EQ, you have a number of different options here. You can see under EQ, there's this audio equalizer, and you can just play around with them by, um, you know, basically dragging the effects onto the audio portion, and you can see here what the effects look like. You can change frequency by frequency. Uh, there is also one called uh, Multiband EQ under the Steve Harris SWH plugins. And this one, as you can see, has one, two, three, a bunch of channels here. And you can just play around with them on the fly. But I barely slept last night. I just can't relax for two days before flying until... So that's me cutting down this frequency here. Um, and uh, you can... So if then if I play on the boost, the upper frequencies we're going to be boosting the uh the, the high notes a bit till the point that the bags are packed um and they go up onto that carousel at the check-in gate until until that point i'm stressed and worried about did i forget something do i need something etc uh, so this is a place that i come to and i've finally gone through a kind of uh, quite intensive process in Menegurion of the security check it can take a couple of hours and uh, when you finally get to this site if i have an hour to spare before boarding so you can see what I'm doing here, and again, the fact that you can make these changes in real time is uh, pretty useful. So I'm just playing around. I don't like equalizing audio like this, uh, particularly using just kind of these dragging. It's, it's not the most friendly user interface, and that's why I said that exporting the audio into a digital audio workstation where you can have something like a graphical uh, band EQ, it's just a hell of a lot easier to work with, but uh, this is cert certainly something you can do. I'm going to take a look at this one, Frequency Tracker, and it doesn't look like it's going to help much. So that's um, EQ that you can do. And you can also play a compressor. So there's, again, a few of these here. Under Vocal and Dynamics, there's a compressor, simple, there's a compressor expander, and there is a simple compressor expander plugin. I'm just going to um, move this guy down, move the effect down so you can see this one. So this is a simple compressor here. That the bags are packed. Um, and they go up onto that carousel at the check-in gate. And I can apply negative gain or positive gain. I'm just going to crank it up a small bit. Until that point, I'm stressed and worried about... And as you can hear, we're starting to get clipping. So uh, you actually you might do better off without the compressor. Flying ...until the point that the bags are packed. Um, and they... um, the other thing you can do is there is a limiter here for volume and dynamics. So I'm going to put on the limiter. And they go up onto that carousel at the check-in gate. Until, until that point, I'm stressed and worried. So these are some of the effects that you can do in order to try to get the audio um, a little bit uh, cleaner, whether it's using the compressor expander. And I'll just show also the simple compressor expander, what that looks like. Uh, this is, you have an attack release and limiter here as well. And you can also normalize to a certain uh, dB value and change the gain. Uh, but I barely slept last night because I'm one of those people who I just can't relax for two days before flying until the point that the bags are packed. Um, and they go up onto that carousel. So you can hear this one's actually, it's a little bit easier just to not use the compressor and just use the, and just so I can just use the EQing here. Uh, but I barely... And then the other thing that you might want to do is uh, normalize the volume. And there's both a two pass and a single one. So the one you want to go for usually is normalize under volume and dynamics. 
drag that down onto the video and I can normalize to minus 14 LUFS is one I usually go for for YouTube export. The hour being 10 a.m. I'm having a couple of beers. Whether that's a good idea before a 14 hour flight, I'm not sure. Uh, so this is a place that I come to and I've finally gone through the kind of uh, quite intensive process in Meningor. So now you can hear there's uh, EQing on the audio and there is um, the target loudness and you can use these in, in uh, simultaneously and uh, render that out to listen to what it actually comes with, what it's, what it's doing as you play it back. Too, and I've finally gone through the kind of... Uh, it's, more like an, it's more like a preview process, because if I jump over the same audio... Too, and I've finally gone through the kind of uh, quite intensive process. And you can hear that the second one sounds better because it's had a bit of a chance to go over and normalize. Uh, so that's basically normalization, EQing, compressing and limiting, which are kind of the basic things you'll commonly want to do on audio in Caden Live. Hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching.